Hello everyone and welcome to this very special episode uh, today in which we will be covering uh, Civilization V uh, Battle Royale, AI Battle Royale. Now some of you may have heard of this. Uh, this was started by, by a guy uh, on Twitch, uh, the Pangolin, or I have absolutely no idea how uh, his name is pronounced. Anyway, he started uh, off with uh, 42 uh, AI battle, which meant that uh, which meant that there were 42 uh, AI civilizations, which is quite a bit higher than the original maximum limit. A couple of city states, and uh, as the only uh, player controlled uh, civilization, he was uh, he, he was just hiding in the Arctic Circle with a nuclear submarine to not uh, uh, bother any of the uh, AIs. Now, uh, though, well, he had a couple of uh, problems, like uh, his save failed to load, and his, uh, I think also his PC was quite a bit overloaded. Uh, well, it was uh, running uh, the game at quite uh, well, quite below uh, beyond the specific original specifications uh, it was released with. Anyway, uh, it seems that there is a new uh, mod that uh, instead of this uh, modded 42 limit, uh, it raises this to 60, which means that uh, you can have 60 AI civilizations, uh, two uh, city states, and well, yourself, of course. He started streaming, but uh, something went wrong. I'm not in, not, not entirely sure. But I thought that I would just uh, do this recording to show people how you can uh, actually get your own battle royale going on. Anyway, uh, here is his uh, Twitch channel. You should um, just, uh, if you like this, then you, you can go and uh, check out his uh, previous videos. I, uh, I think he actually... Uh, finished the 42 uh, version, but I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, so uh, moving on, the most important mod you need is uh, if this would actually No. Anyway, uh, I will just post the link. Uh, well, this is the uh, mod you will need uh, to download and install. Uh, this will enable the 60 uh, civilization limit and it works uh, with a specific map pack, the yet not another Earth map packs. Uh, uh, it works with Vanilla, Gods and Kings, and Brand New World as well. Uh, the first 22 uh, civilizations will have a Diplo screen, a 3D full diplomatic and diplomacy screen. The others will have no such thing. Well, there are mods to uh, <clears throat> actually uh, fix this so that uh, a couple of other uh, will have but as I was uh, as this is about running a 60 uh, save battle royale uh, you won't be uh, interacting with any of the saves uh, anyway, and there is another thing which is called the official official Reddit Save AI Domination Game Pack. Uh, which is a mod collection on Steam Workshop. 
uh, you should install all of these uh, mods in uh, except the, the 43 CV limit uh, DLL because you already have the 61 of course these will add uh, enough uh, civilizations to actually get to the 60 because uh, normally you simply don't have enough uh, even with uh, even if you install uh, all the all the uh, mods that are uh, the uh, pay for on the uh, steam uh, store anyway uh, going on uh, what's that oh yeah right, uh, right. Uh, when you are finished with this uh, you just have to well, here you see uh, all of my mods that are actually activated. As you can see, there are quite a lot, <laughs> quite a many ones. Uh, you will very much need this uh, map pack, and well, the civilization mm, packs are, uh, and, and there are many other uh, mods that are optional. But you have to have sixty. Uh, well, 61 uh, civilizations in total. And uh, also you will need quite a hefty CPU, although uh, Civilization 5 will not use more than a couple of cores. And as far as I've seen, it doesn't uh, use that much uh, amount of memory. Uh, I've already created a so let's load this and all right uh, loading time is uh, very 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 uh, slow well, it has to lower crap load of data so it's understandable uh, also I've uh, a bit of bit of information about my safe I I just uh, set all the 60 uh, uh, civilizations to uh, be random, which meant that there uh, there is a Britain and an England, uh, which are right now at war with each other. So uh, Churchill is uh, going to war against Elizabeth I. There is also some uh, placement issues. Uh, the Gaul uh, Federation, the like Gaul uh, civilization, which should be if I remember uh, my geography lessons, uh, should be in around uh, French territories, but instead it's in the uh, northern and eastern uh, Russia. They are very lucky to be there because uh, they are the only civilization that hasn't uh, gone to war with. Uh, any other uh, incidentally there are a couple of mods that I've installed uh, that were in the uh, community map, map pack uh, that uh, increase the uh, aggression of the civilizations which means that the playthroughs are much much more uh, entertaining also, the other placement issue I had was with North Korea because they somehow ended up in uh, Western Australia. I have no idea why. Supposedly, they do have a two uh, starting location in this map, but it seems it's not entirely uh, like that. Mm. Oh, also, uh, Yes, uh, the Native Americans are actually at war with uh, the United States, the illegal immigrants. <laughs> As you can see, the uh, I think it was the ERK or the COX side that are actually uh, fighting with the United States. Uh, well, as I said, Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, the 
game is a bit slow uh, at load, sorry about that. I mean, I do have a pretty hefty computer, but it's still a slow until it loads uh, completely. So here are the Northern Korea uh, guys, and what I said, the other uh, civilization which got misplaced is the Golic uh, civilization. Luckily they do have uh, the Chinese which are encroaching uh, on their territory. But <clears throat> they are the highest ranking. Uh, where was it? Yeah, there it is. So as you can... Oh no, some someone uh, actually uh, is higher now. Anyway, uh, recent happenings was that uh, South Korea was invaded by uh, China. They only have this little city left. Their uh, uh, capital city of Seoul was taken. I have uh, set up the game so that uh, you actually have to conquer all the cities for a uh, um, civilization to be uh, out. There was also other um, couple of civilizations that uh, that are dead, and uh, mm, the Swedish conquered the uh, Danish, yeah, the Danish city of Copenhagen, on the cap capital city, ex capital city. Also, yes, I do have uh, Nazi Germany, of course. We'll see how they uh, go around. Uh, there are things, other things. Uh... Oh yes, this is the British Isles. Like here is the British, which are headed by uh, Elizabeth, I think, and uh, versus the English, or maybe the other way around. I have no idea. Anyway. Um... Yeah, the African tribes are uh, warring, and uh, although for quite a while uh, the most ac uh, active uh, warring states were actually the um, F uh, American natives. And, uh, Oshon and the Sioux, I think, uh, if I pronounce that badly. Oh, sorry, I'm not American. Anyway, uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, the oh right, and uh, there is another bug which I have no idea how to fix. Uh, the you can see the turn processing uh, down here. Uh, this is absolutely wrong. Right now it, sh it says that it's a Chinese Republic, whereas it's actually the Egyptians. Uh, or uh, taking their turn. I have no idea uh, what caused it. Oh, it actually froze out. Oh, that's something I haven't seen before. Uh, okay, so as you can see, it's uh, running uh, 60. Uh, 60 player uh, civilization game is not. Uh, it's very demanding on your PC. But usually mine only froze uh, so far when I uh, exited the game. I have no idea why. Anyway, this is how you uh, set up a 60 player AI uh, Battle Royale. Uh, it's fun, it's fun, it's quite fun, but uh, it's actually funnier to uh, have people on the uh, channel and chat with them. So, um, well, this is for today. So, goodbye, and, well, have fun.